Which is your favorite Phoebus diver? If it's the Eagle Ray, then you're in luck and you're definitely gonna wanna stick around. If it's not the Eagle Ray, let me know in the comments section which one it is, but still, regardless, you're gonna wanna stick around because they're about to launch some gorgeous new pastel dial Eagle Ray divers and they've sent me the green one to review for you guys today. I'm not completely convinced it's green or that it's a pastel color, but I am convinced it's gorgeous. So let me head over to the light box and I'll show it to you. And here it is. This is the watch that Phoebus have sent me to show you in this video. It is the PY048A. And well, they're offering four watches on the 1st of September and they're promoting them as having pastel dials. Now, at a glance, it does look quite pastely, but I've filmed or taken some macro shots of this dial and it's got a really nice sort of metallic hint or tinge to it. So I'm not completely convinced it is a proper pastel dial because, well, I always thought pastel colours were quite sort of matte and muted, um, sort of pale, watered down or I think actually, officially, they are primary and secondary colours um, with white added to them. And um, yeah, it sort of looks like a pastel um, greeny colour. Um, but yeah, I love that sort of extra sparkle um, the dial has. And the contrasting black hands and applied indices, they're really, really cool. Really cool. Um, the macro shots have come up fantastic. Um, showing these applied indices and just how crisply finished they are along with the hands. And um, yeah, they've created hands and a dial very similar to that that I was trying to create for the Cedo Diver with very, very black framing on the hands and the applied indices. Um, I think it contrasts fantastically well. And with this sort of really nice pastely greeny dial. And as you can see, um, the date window at the three o'clock is also um, framed in a very dark sort of black frame and um, good balance to the watch still um, even though there is a date complication at the three o'clock um, yeah the fact that they have um, included a black frame around that I think it um, keeps the watch well balanced and obviously there is an internal rotating bezel and um, I've forgotten to mention this is an eagle ray by the way um, I'm sure you are familiar with that already this is um, one of the best watches that Phoebus has created, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've reviewed a couple of previous models, and um, yeah, I really, really like this one. I liked the previous models that I reviewed, but I'm just loving the contrasting black on um, sort of greeny. Well, they're calling it pastel green. I, I don't really think it's a green, but anyway. Um, yeah, so you've got an internal rotating bezel, and um, it feels really nice. There are some very subtle um, sort of clicks Actually, you just unscrew this crown, it pops out, and then, um, yeah, it's bi-directional, as you can see. And um, lining it up, actually, is not difficult at all because, um, yeah, when you push the crown in, it disengages the internal bezel, and then um, it doesn't move it once you start winding it in. Um, so, yeah, you're able to get decent alignment. And there is obviously a second crown um, to adjust the date and the hands. So I definitely like the way it looks. I love the colors that they're offering. And um, let me just quickly show you the other three colors. And um, yeah, here they are. Look, you've got a sort of yellow, a white. Um, a white probably would have been my preferred choice, um, but it's a bit boring, isn't it? Um, especially when you've got these really cool colors available. So I'm really glad they sent me um, this particular color, actually. Um, out of the three colors, I think the green is the best, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Um, yeah, looks really, really good. So these watches will be available to order on the 1st of September, but I haven't mentioned the price. The early bird price will be 300 US dollars. The standard day-to-day -day price when the early bird price expires is 375 US dollars. So um, $300 for this watch, I think is um, yeah decent value as you've come to expect from Phoebus. Decent specifications throughout, really, really nice build quality, NH35 in here, but um, I wouldn't expect anything else um, when you're paying $300 for a quality micro brand diver like this. So um, yeah, NH35 inside this watch, hacking hand wind, beating 21,600 beats per hour. Um, yeah, we love the NH35.
Decent crystal as well, double domed sapphire crystal with blue AR coating. Look, three layers of um, AR coating on the underside and decent loom as well. They always put plenty of loom on their watches and you have what looks like fairly deep applied indices. So um, yeah, I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of this video. I'll do my standard five minute test and I suspect it's gonna do pretty well. And I think one of the reasons I love the Eagle Ray more than most of their other divers is because it is a 200 meter diver and Phoebus tends to produce dive watches and that's, yeah, that's their staple. And um, some of them are 300 meters, some of them are 200 meters. Their 300 meter divers, obviously a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, a bit chunkier. And um, I just find them a little bit too big and heavy and chunky for me. So I tend to prefer their 200 meter divers, which is exactly what this one is. Um, so you've got screw down crowns, screw down case back. I'll show you the case back. Um, nice bracelet, beautifully finished. Um, end links fit really, really nicely. Solid end links, obviously solid links. And these are screw pins. Decent clasp as well. The outer shell might be pressed, but the inner elements are milled. Um, double pushes, no safety latch signature. Fully brushed, I don't think there's any polishing, or well, there's a couple of um, sort of polished or a few very small polished accents on the bracelets and some very nice finishing on the case. Predominantly brushed again, but a few polished accents. And the bezel as well is actually um, polished. Quite a few sort of polished elements on that, um, playing with the light look, nice. Here it is then on my roughly average sized wrist. It's a good size for me, not too big. It's a touch deep, isn't it? Um, but there's an internal rotating bezel. So I just think generally they tend to be a little bit deeper than your standard um, dive watches with external sort of manual um, rotating bezels and decent weight distribution all the way around those solid links. Um, not too much taper on those links. So you've got a fairly wide clasp as well, um, but yeah. A substantial clasp spreading out the weight all the way around my wrist and um, yeah I've managed to get a decent fit because you've got three micro adjustments uh, options on the clasp and plenty of removable links. Right well I wrap it up I'll show you some more macro shots and um, yeah I'll show you that loom degradation clip as well. Um, yeah I suspect this one will sell out pretty quick actually. The Eagle Ray is one of their most popular um, styles and um, yeah, I think the um, dial options or the colors that they're offering are very nice. I'm really impressed actually with the color of this dial. And actually the fact that it's not a true pastel dial, I think is a good thing. There's just a little bit of shimmer on this dial, which I think is just fantastic. I love the color of it actually. And um, yeah, those contrasting black hands and applied indices look really, really good. So um, yeah, I'm expecting this particular color variation to sell out the quickest because, well, it's a very popular sort of color these days. Obviously it's not an exact match to the T brand color, um, but it's pretty close. And um, yeah, I suspect this one will be pretty popular. So don't forget to head over to Phoebus on the 1st of September. Right guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching.